Nicole's got here for Netbook News, and here we are at the Migos Summit. We're going to be taking a look at a company called Nomabuck, and they've built out a UI. They've optimized uh, Migo, and here's an example of uh, IVI or Invict Entertainment. Uh, we've got this great little, oh, the touchscreen's not so sensitive, maybe we'll go to this one first. So you can see we've got a little UI, and they play a snake game here. There we go, and we're, we're oh, I died. Oh, oh, okay, maybe we won't play the snake game because apparently I keep dying. Uh, so you can see there's a cork board there. Uh, if we go here, this is kind of hmm. It's really cool when it works, guys. The, the touchscreen on this kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, okay, well, I really want to show it to you. Hold on, let's see if I can get it to work. Okay, well, it won't work, but when this actually spins around, it looks really cool. So here we have, uh, this is a very familiar tab, but this is like the XFC or the V tab. Um, but you can see they've created their own skin. It does kind of remind me of the well, XOPC UI because of the circles. Um, but if you take a look, we kind of have the same... A lot of the same functionality here. Yeah, and it does. Okay, there, there we go. It kind of works there. And this is just a, a, a demonstration skin, so it doesn't actually work. Uh, you pull out from the side to go back to the home. Pull out to the side. You open your media player. Uh, you have to select this over here. Then it'll show up in this area here, and then you can hit play. So these guys are looking to package, sell, and customize uh, Migo UIs uh, for OEMs, ODMs, businesses, uh, obviously anyone who wants to do invisible entertainment, they're looking to customize the skin for them. Uh, you can pull up the menu from the bezel, uh, various areas. There's a different Wi-Fi carrier, or the Wi-Fi signals around. You hit up the music player there. So, let's see, the incredible show. There we go. Play down there. So the I guess the the idea between between all all of their media players or yeah any of them is you select it and you put it over here. Now I'm not super keen on this, so I'm gonna close that. I mean it's it's it, it reminds me a lot of of that social scene. Uh, so here's the photo viewer. It's not bad. And you can see on this bezel here, actually, let's pull this up, close that out, go home. Ooh. Up there we have sleep, power, and internet again. So that was, I think it's their app store I loaded there. Let's go back here for a second. I think it was this one that worked. Now a lot of these demo apps are, yeah, there we go. So you can see up here we have the frame rates per second. And this is actually more things on the screen that would normally be shown on traditional Migo. So we're getting the same frame rate but we're getting a lot of different uh, factors on the screen. So this is a company called Numavuk, and they are optimizing uh, Amigo UIs for tablets for OEMs, ODMs. So we'll keep an eye on them, uh, see what they're doing. They have an office in Taiwan, Japan, and I can't remember where they're actually based. So this has been a quick look at tablet, in vehicle entertainment, and uh, traditional desktop style. So there are the guys that are making the magic happen. Paul Scott here for Network News.